This is the second week of Lent. Pilgrimage to the sites of Jesus' Passion began in Jerusalem, a tradition that dates back to the first centuries of the Christian era and is carried on by the friars of the custody of the Holy Land who animate these liturgies in anticipation of Easter. The first shrine destination of the pilgrimage is the small church of Dominus Flevit, built along the slopes of the Mount of Olives. The chapel is shaped like a teardrop to evoke the gospel episode in which Jesus wept for the future of Jerusalem. And to accompany in prayer those who suffer so many sorrows, the religious communities present in Jerusalem participated vividly in the celebration and filled the shrine. Brother Sebastian Eclimes, in charge of the place, tells us that he misses the pilgrims very much, but today he is happy to receive the local community for the celebration. Even if there are no pilgrims, we have another work. That is, we fix the whole convent garden and also do renovations. So the pilgrims, when they come another time, see it all looking good, even the church and everything else to serve God and also serve the brothers. Holy Mass was presided over by Brother Piermarco Luciano, Vice Master of Formation, while the homily was given by Capuchin Brother Paolo Messina because all the meditations of the Lenten journey were entrusted to him. In this first pilgrimage, he led us to reflect on the silence of those who suffer, recalling some moments when Jesus was moved and manifested his compassion in a special way, as in the encounters with the widow of Nain, with the sinner in Simon's house, and with those who mourned the daughter of Jairus. These are all episodes in which Jesus does not turn away from those cries. He does not turn away from that suffering, but instead he comes right up to it. He enters into it with his whole self, with his person, with his body. And that's what I think we have to do today as well. Toward Jerusalem, in this time in which we are surrounded by so much suffering right in this place. We might not see this suffering, it might never reach our hearts, it might never reach our ears, because we can't perceive it. There is a silence, perhaps, that envelops all this suffering, but we must not let ourselves be overcome by the fear of being involved. We must take upon ourselves this very suffering and accompany it. And from the shrine of Dominus Flevit arises an invitation to join us in prayer and to walk this path of Jesus, asking him for a heart capable of listening and compassion for the many who suffer in silence their pain and loss.